Welcome to Equilibrium Institute, where we help horses by educating their people. After this video, please go check us out on Facebook or on our website at www.equilibriuminstitute.com. In this video, Dr. Kelly Aaron Claybaugh will demonstrate how to correctly apply a stacked standing bandage. Wound that's requiring extensive bandaging and stall rest. And as a result, she's getting a lot of swelling and stocking up in her lower leg. So I'm wrapping her for two reasons, primarily to help with her circulation and secondarily to help restrict the motion of her leg uh, so that she is not moving around more in the stall than she should be and putting more stress on the, the bandage. So we're gonna start by bandaging her lower leg to try and help push the fluid back up into circulation. These are quilted cotton wraps. Uh, this particular brand is called a no bow because it doesn't bow the tendons in the leg. So how you want to wrap it is you follow the direction of the tendons. So on the left front, you're gonna wrap from outside in, so counterclockwise. On the right side of the body, you would wrap the opposite direction, you'd be wrapping um, clockwise. So, I start with the wrap on the inside point of her leg, and you're wrapping from knee to about mid-pastern. I'm laying it nice and smooth, and I'm pulling it just tight enough that it lays flat. And think of it like wearing your socks. You don't want them all bunched up inside your shoe because it's uncomfortable. So the wrap's on nice and smooth. Then I use this, which is called nylon track wrap. You can either start over the top, or some people will tuck the wrap in to help kind of hold it in place. And this is where it requires a little bit of dexterity and practice makes perfect, because sometimes you'll end up dropping the wrap if you're not that familiar with how to do it. Ooh. But you start from the middle and wrap down the leg first. And the goal is your wrap should cover half of the previous wrap. So I'm going 50% and I'm pulling it pretty snug, okay? Now you have to be careful that you don't bow a tendon in a horse's leg by pulling things too tight, but as long as you have a squishy cotton wrap underneath this non-stretchy wrap, you're not going, it's, it's not very easy to get it too tight. So now I'm, I went down below the pastern for a little bit of support, and I'm coming back up the leg, covering my wrap about 50% each time. That figure somewhat depends on the length of your horse's cannon bone. We wrap all the way up to the top. You don't want the wrap going over because then it'll curl in and rub on the hairline. So you want the wrap, a little bit of your, your cotton wrap to stick out at the top and the bottom. And just making sure it's nice and smooth and even the whole time. And by the time we've finished this bandage, the combination of the cotton wrap and the nylon track wrap is called a standing wrap because we use these wraps on horses that are standing around and tend to get swelling in the lower leg. This mare, I'm gonna do a stacked standing wrap, meaning I'm gonna wrap another bandage on top of this one to protect this area and absorb any of the exudate coming off the wound. With a stacked wrap, you have to wrap the lower leg first because if you think the leg tapers, and if I were to put the top wrap on, it would want to start sliding down the leg. So I wrap the bottom of the leg first to make it almost the same diameter as the top part of the leg. And then I put this wrap on. This white stuff is a zinc oxide ointment just to keep her skin from scalding because of the discharge getting on her hair. Okay, so I just stack this on top of the other one. Same concept though, I want to make sure it's nice and smooth and no wrinkles anywhere. And then I use my nylon wrap over the top. Sometimes it helps to have an extra person kind of holding it when the leg gets this big in diameter, it's harder to get your hands around. Starting at the midpoint and traveling down the leg. Again, I don't want to go all the way over the white because then my nylon would curl under. So I'm going to leave a little bit of the white sticking out. And then wrap back up the leg. Good girl. Good 
girl. Girl. I'm not pulling this tight. I'm just kind of taking a little bit of the stretch out. And the goal should be just tight enough that it stays on and doesn't slip, but obviously not so tight it either cuts off circulation or is uncomfortable. And the fatter parts of the leg like this, sometimes your Velcro is not quite long enough to go all the way around, but I think we'll be fine on her. Okay, so then this wrap shouldn't be able to slide all the way down the leg. And then we'll address the actual wound.